Hey, Trip Zero here, and uh, I've got a post install video that I thought about. I thought I'd do of uh, my LED stairs and kind of what I did to build it. Um, the brains behind the operation is the uh, particle photon, which I really like to use. Um, this logic level shifter. Um, which is pretty important. You've probably seen it in other videos, the, uh, the irrigation controller. I'll put a link in the blog, corresponding blog for this. And that's pretty much the, the, the brains of it. I do have an ultrasonic sensor, which is right here. And that, I might hook that up later. Uh, and the reason uh, for that is it adds a feature of It'll detect someone coming up the stairs, and it can light only the stairs where the, the person's at. So it's kind of a cool thing. The light follows the person on the stairs. And then to power the thing, I've got a uh, Drock. Uh, I believe this is 150 watt. It handles about 9 amps, so which is which is perfect for that this application. Um, and uh, going from that, I have. Uh, a 24 volt 5 amp power supply so plenty of, of horsepower so what I've done is uh, I've taken these channels and you can get these channels uh, these light strip channels on uh, superbrightleds.com I'll put a link uh, in the corresponding blog and probably in the description as well and uh, the LED strip just fits right in here on the back of it, I've put some automotive grade uh, 3M double-sided sticky tape, and I just stuck it to the wall of the stairs. We'll go look at it in a second, but I wanted to show you that this channel, they come in about eight foot strips, I, uh, if I recall, recall correctly. And they have, separately, you, you can buy these, um, these are the covers that go on top. So you put the LED inside, and you put this over the top, and it just snaps in. And it gives it a nice look. They have two different kinds of these. The uh, this kind, which is the diffused kind, and they have like a clear kind. I like the diffused because I think it uh, diffuses the light more. It looks a lot less. Uh, uh, the LED strips. Uh, well, you'll see in a second. So I think it just better effect overall. So let's go take a look at uh, the stairs. Oh, before that. <clears throat> I do have, uh, so the, the data and power is, uh, I got this, uh, I think 12 or 14 gauge wire on Amazon. This is speaker and it's, it's, well, it's called speaker wire, but you could use it for anything. It's just wire, right? Copper wire and it's got four strands in there, um, two of which are for the data to program the, the lights and uh, the other two for power. I got a pretty hefty gauge because I don't want uh, any sort of power loss from the cable itself. And this thing, as you can see, I've got it hooked up to a, a watt meter, 5.3 watts, uh, but these are, it's on the ultra dim setting, uh, as you'll see, and I can get up over 20 watts, uh, cl pretty close to 40, if I really push the LEDs to full brightness. So I've got this, this cable going up through the wall in this uh, little hole that I cut, and the other side is coming out in a little uh, outlet that looks decent. And uh, we'll go look at that now. Here we are on the other side. Here is uh, the outlet I was talking about. It's not really an outlet, but it's a little panel. You can get these... Uh, um, I don't know what you call them, uh, face plates, that's what you call them. Uh, you can get them on Amazon, they're just like mono price face plates, and they have these little adapter types, they've got some for USB and Ethernet and all sorts of things, the HDMI cable. I just got one, some for the speakers, because I, I just need four connections. Actually, I had these laying around, that's why I used them, so I didn't have to buy any uh, new ones. And then, uh, at the moment, I just have it coming down to a wire, kind of. Uh, not very great, but I'm going to clean that up later. Here is the stairs. So, <clears throat> I've got it going down one side, one uh, and then it's connected at the bottom, and then it comes up 
this side. And these are um, APA 102, uh, also known as dot stars. I got them on autofruit.com or Adafruit, however you want to say it. And uh, actually, I got some on, on uh, eBay first, but uh, I had some trouble with it. it turned out to be software, uh, so I replaced those with with these ones. Um, anyway, make a long story short, they both work. Um, just these are these are pretty good, um, and we can do uh, pretty cool things with this. So each individual LED, you can see the kind of diffused look that the uh, diffuser gives, uh, but each LED can be controllable, and uh, I've got a couple effects that I've done, uh, I've programmed into that thing, so we'll turn it on and, and you can see the effects. So right here I have uh, just a pretty simple effect, it's called Chase, and it just runs around uh, with random colors, so it goes down, and then it goes up crossed and then it goes up again pretty pretty simple effect uh, all the lot the brains that's controlling this effect is actually on the computer and it's being the data that tells which uh, lights to turn on is going over the Wi-Fi to the particle photon that was in the closet that we saw earlier so that's the chase effect this one's called the random rainbow transforms and it basically just changes all the lights to a random color and it and it uh, does tries to do a pretty smooth transition I'm uh, this is 25 I'm saying frames per second but I'm sending about 25 updates per second to the controller to change the lights. so it's pretty smooth it's about what you'd see in a, a video um, so yeah, random rainbow transforms, and I got one more. This one I just call rainbow. Uh, my daughter wanted rainbows, and she didn't like the random rainbow transforms. So it took a little bit of work, but I coded up this, and it just basically goes around and around and shows uh, as many colors of the rainbow that I can. Um, I'm converting wavelength, visible light wavelength into RGB values and that's how it basically works and then yeah so pretty cool. The kids absolutely love it. Um, the uh, the code for the light protocol I'm gonna put uh, uh, publish online on github so keep an eye out for that and also the light uh, controller code that, that runs on the computer that actually runs these uh, effects. I'll put that online on GitHub as well. So check out my GitHub page and I'll put a link uh, in my uh, corresponding blog. So that's it. Hope uh, that was interesting and uh, uh, Trip Zero out.